Welcome to this My Dispense version 4 tutorial where you'll see an overview of the key features. I'll focus on the fact finding windows, the endorsement feature and the redesigned exercise completion stage. The introduction screen can be filled with many instructions. Here you can see details about the scenario and requests from the patient and also instructions guiding students on the necessary process to complete an exercise to the required standard. The view from the dispensary bench still provides the central location to work through an exercise. The toolbar and icons have been redesigned to accommodate the new higher level functioning of version 4 and the icons correspond to interactive features that on holding your mouse over them are lit with a blue halo. The backroom button is now accessible from all My Dispense viewpoints. Exercises of great complexity can be developed in version 4. You can add real clinical depth to require students to source information from many places and synthesize all the competing facts to achieve a safe patient outcome. This simulates real life practice. Important information for a scenario can be spread across a range of places. The introduction screen, the patient and prescriber fact finding windows, the dispensing history and questions from the patient as a medicine is handed to them. With patient fact finding you can design an exercise so the patient or their carer tells you information. Or you can make them evasive, uninformed or with poor language skills. With the prescriber fact finding the prescriber is able to supplement the patient information and can tell anything the exercise designer decides, things as the patient's clinical history and ongoing treatment plans. If you are not careful, you may easily call an incorrect prescriber. You can also design exercises where the prescriber is intentionally unavailable. So, as before, you can work through a prescription and dispense your items, remembering that complexity can be built into the computer dispensing history. The history can be designed as lengthy or non-existent depending on the required learning outcomes. Another version for enhancement allows for script annotation or endorsement into any part of a prescription field. For example, you could add a note to the directions, the dose, the date and prescriber details. This functionality allows the exercise designer to consciously introduce errors into a script and allow student documentation of any needed changes. After you select your products, you scan and label them as shown in other tutorials. You can also make professional notes to communicate your reasoning to the tutor. Then you come to the final stage of the exercise, which is redesigned and enhanced in version 4. The patient may have questions which increase the complexity of the interaction. You can choose not to dispense the products due to lack of patient safety, illegality or other concerns, and you are required to document your reasoning. You can also document any patient counselling points and then hand your product to the patient. Looking at the immediate feedback via the feedback icon, you can review your work. The left side shows what you did compared to the ideal input on the right. Version 4 feedback has been redesigned to accommodate for more feedback. Importantly, it tracks your fact-seeking path and advises on appropriate and inappropriate choices in seeking information. So that summarises the main version 4 features. I hope you've enjoyed this latest My Dispense tutorial.